Welcome back to your 5-Minute Football Fix. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Fellis. It's Wednesday, November 16th, 2011. Today, Andy Reid's future in Philadelphia is being questioned at the highest levels. Hi. Um, we're going to play everybody NFL fans' favorite game, which is more, more likely, likely to, to happen. happen. Come on, don't yeah, let I'm, me down on I'm that. Sorry. It's stupid was... if I just do it. <laughs> and finally, the Jets go old school in preparing for youngster Tim Tebow. <laughs> We'll get to that. First up, Andy Reid's future in Philadelphia is being in question at the former gubernatorial level. Yes, Stephen. that's right. Former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell said that he believes Reid is gone if the Eagles don't have a miracle finish and, and win out. Ed is an enormous Philadelphia sports fan, and with the NBA situation, you know, the Flyers are doing great in hockey, so c congratulations for leading the Atlantic Conference there in hockey. But what has he got, Steven? Seriously, the Eagles are a laughing stock, and he thinks that uh, Andy Reid will resign if the season doesn't go well. I tend to agree. Really? Well, he, yeah, his, his quote is that he'll resign. They're not going to fire him. But uh, just let that guy have a bad season. That's what's going on right now. The Eagles are having a bad season. That's what it is. Really bad. Look, he is, since 1999, he's gotten this team to the NFC Championship five times. He's gotten them to the Super Bowl. No, they have not won a Super Bowl. That's that's really the problem people in Philadelphia have with Andy Reid. He has not delivered them a Super Bowl championship, but he's allowed to have one bad year, right? Steven, I think people want a little bit more. I think they're tired of Andy Reid and his – I goofed kind of post-game press conference, which basically is exactly the same mantra every single week. It is. I goofed. I take complete responsibility for this. Um, coach, you're not out there playing. You shouldn't be taking complete responsibility. I didn't put our guys in a good enough position to win. People grow tired of that as fans, and we understand that. But I really think Andy Reid resigns for another reason. I think that, as everyone who's an athlete knows, losing hurts far more than winning feels good. And for Andy Reid, his goal has always been the Super Bowl, and he has failed to get that Super Bowl ring. And that is going to be what ex eventually pushes him out of this game and makes him want to hang it up because he's done everything he can. He fired Donovan McNabb, shipped him off, and tried to rebuild completely from the ground up, all with the hopes of the Super Bowl. And they were all in this year. They really were. Can't go any more uh, in. I, I hope don't... Vince Young starts on Sunday so that <laughs> – Maybe he'll be held to account for this dream team moniker that he hung this team with. I, I want to see him get smacked. I want to uh, see him get smacked well, and get punished. It'll because, most dude, likely be Vince Young because right now uh, Vic has not been in practice uh, with the two broken ribs. Uh, let's move on and play which, which is, is more likely, likely to, to happen? happen. Everyone's favorite game. Is it everyone's favorite no, game? No, but okay. we'll make it everyone's there you favorite go. game. This week's question, the Packers go 16-0. and 0. Or, or the Colts go 0-16. There you go. Which is more likely to happen, Jeff? Both. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go opposite of you. I'm going to say neither. Oh, come on. Look, the Packers well, are playing good how football. How do you explain? The, the, yeah, I'm going to. The Packers are playing great football right now, one. And the Colts are playing bad football, two. However. We're just talking regular season, right, however, bro? However, regular season, okay. yes. Yeah, right. However, in the regular season, the Packers still have to go to Detroit and then play Detroit again at the end of the season at home. They still have the Bears, and they have some teams that are going to be gunning for them. And look, I think they learned from the New England Patriots going perfect and then losing it at the end of the Super Bowl. That's something the Packers don't want to have to experience. They're not sure. I'm not sure they can go after winning all those games in the playoffs through the Super Bowl, all through this season, and then all through the playoffs again this year and stay perfect. That is way too much to ask for of any team. I don't I at the end of the season, if they've got everything all wrapped up, weeks 14 and 15, they will pull Aaron Rodgers, and they don't mind if they win the, the lose that final last They're game. They're not going to lose that final last game because the backup there is just as, almost as good. He's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. I think this Packers team, I said this to my son the other night, I think this Packers team is so good that they couldn't beat themselves. Okay, well. I mean, there you go. That is that, that doesn't is, make any sense. Is, doesn't. But it's how I feel. This team well, is that good. And the good. Indianapolis Colts, they'll have a chance at the Jacksonville Jaguars again. And they've got a couple other weak teams on the schedule that they may uh, be able to. Now, the Jets go old school, preparing to match Tim Tebow on Thursday Night Football on NFL Network. T -T Very old school. I'm talking about 41-year-old Mark Brunel. his age. Okay. As, old. Yeah, asking him. 
to play the role of Tim Tebow at practices as they prepare for the Broncos this week. Now, look, Mark Brunel used to be a, a scrambler. Oh, no, he's a hell of an athlete. And 15 he used to be, years ago. He very much was a mobile quarterback <laughs> back in the day. Today, uh, I mean, you're asking an awful lot. I so think besides th- that they're both lefties, do they have anything else in common? They're white. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, besides that. No. Yeah, there no. you go. So good luck to the star. Jets. Good luck. Exactly. I'm Stephen Miranda. Jeff Ellis. For your five-minute football fix. Out. Out.